Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duelist the, the, the Attack Force, whatever. Attack Force is easier. I'm just I might just call it Attack Force. Uh, we're playing again, and we are going to be using a new deck today. I think we've used the wet deck quite enough, and the new deck I've made is not near complete. It has a lot of cards in it that should not be in it. Only because I didn't have enough cards that would make the deck make sense. So please don't yell at me if the deck is terrible and I end up start I start to lose duels. Because I, I did what I could. I just I can't keep using the wet deck. It's not fun. I want to use newer cards. So we're gonna go and talk to little Pharaoh here. We'll give him a sandwich. He likes a plain sandwich. You can give him any sandwich, no matter how bad he'll eat it. And he'll he'll love it. So now that we got Pharaoh, we're gonna go back to the dorm. Talk to everybody there, try to, you know, just try to, try to be friends with them. Because we need their, we need our relationship status to go up with everybody. Honestly, no, you only need one, you only need one person to like you. In this game, you only need one person to like you and you need to make a choice on who that person is. But I don't know who to choose. W what do you guys think? Of the duelists here, who would you want me to choose? Not in this room, but I mean, of in this game. Anybody with a portrait can be chosen. And by that I mean a portrait on the outside of the map. Whenever we're going to a new area, how they it's like, hey, these are the people and they're in these locations. Uh, those people you can eventually, you know, hook up with. So who do you want me to hook up with for the tag duels? Do you have any any uh, preferences out any everybody? Or no? Maybe? Who knows? Alright. Uh, let's talk to Chumley. Hey, Pharaoh. Uh, Chumley, you kind of almost kicked my ass last time we dueled. And I want to see your Wrath of Nature again. So we're going to be doing Chumley again, only because I respect him and he's the only one in this whole school that likes me at the moment. He's the only one I have a tenth of a heart with, where everybody else is just like, oh, that's just Cooper. Who cares about that kid? He's the transfer student. He's a loser. Ah, oh, damn it, Chumley. Don't go first again in one turn summon King of the B or Master of Oz. Oh, God, it's all happening. Why do I say things out loud? I mean, I would have been... Oh, yeah, my new deck is the Feral Feast. So get ready, everybody. Alright, oh, I'm getting hungry. Oh, don't worry, I have a deck that you can feast your eyes on. Here it is, okay. A lot of the cards are still from the wet deck, but I mean, I I, I didn't have many options. He got Stray Lambs, he can one turn summon Big Koala. That's such a good card. Okay, but he didn't get any monster cards, interesting. Very interesting. Alright, here's another deck I just put in the deck because it's a pretty strong monster, no other reason. Alright, let's uh, test out his traps. Say hello to the blindly loyal goblin. This goblin will never switch teams. He'll always be on our team. Alright, get rid of a stray lamb. Okay, good. With one of those guns, I'm, I'm, I'm not as afraid. I feel, I feel much better. Though I would love to get that card. I would love that card, uh, Chumley. So, can I have it? If I beat you, can you give me that card? Can we make a deal? We can make a deal, Chumley. Alright, and uh, DD Crazy Beast again. Okay, I like DD Crazy Beast just because if a monster destroys it, it gets removed from play. So, you know, you, if you really want to destroy it, then you're killing yourself. That and it's a beast monster and I'm trying to have a feral feast here. Alright, there we go. Get rid of it. And let's see. This card... Yeah, his new trap card didn't do anything. He's just in pain. Alright, a monster that this card destroys, the result is removed from play. So yeah, I like removing cards from play. And then I just really need more beast monsters to make this deck count as a feral deck. Oh, he did the cool thing where somehow his hands are holding that card. Probably because he really likes that card, that's why he chose to do that animation. Yeah, I didn't want you guys to see a bunch of white light go into his mouth, it's just awkward. Alright, draw. Ho ho ho! This card could be normal summon or set with one tribute. In that case, the original attack only becomes 2,000. When this card is tribute summoned, you can return from your graveyard to owner's hand a number of beast type monsters equal to the number of tribute monsters. Alright, so watch this. I can summon. Uh, I'm only going to use one tribute. I'm going to choose my DD Crazy Beast. Then his effect should activate. And then because I used one tribute, I can get one monster back to my hand and I choose DD Crazy Beast. And boom. So it's like I lost nothing. I just gained a 2,000 attack point monster. If I wanted to make him 2700 attack, I could have tributed both my monsters, but no. Uh, 2000 is enough. Very few, Poke uh, very few cards can get above 2000 attack. Yes, I almost hit Pokemon. No, you can all go to hell. I love Pokemon. I keep making these mistakes. I'm sorry. 
I don't have I don't have control. Just be happy I'm not saying Digimon like I did when I was playing Digimon World 3. I said that all the time playing Pokemon. It was annoying. Alright, let's see. Set a monster. You can't beat me. He's in this is this is a fear. This is a a, a, a Chumley that has a lot of fear. I drew the I drew him, wow. When a beast type monster on your side of the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can pay a thousand lives to special summon for this card from your hand or graveyard. So you might as well keep him in your hand and wait for it to be destroyed. So yes, the green baboon is super freaking good. I can't believe I drew it already. Uh, let's attack with you just in case it's Death Koala. Nothing I can do about that. No, bourbon, so we're, uh, or, yeah, bubonic vermin. We're going to be destroying a lot of these today. Or not, I could do this, you're right. Completely correct. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I like Yomi Ship more, so we'll keep the Yomi Ship. Yeah, because I don't want you to summon a bunch of cards. I want to win the duel. I'm not going to win the duel unless you, you know, die. So he is going to survive for one more turn, sadly, but it's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We can win next turn. Wow, this Feral Feast deck isn't as bad as I thought. I mean, it doesn't have a lot of beast monsters in it, but I still drew the best ones, so I guess, you know what? I'm, I'm, too, I'm talking too down on myself. I like it. It's doing work. All right, Chumley, what's your plan? You just... He gave up. That was Chumley's plan, to give up, just like in the anime. All right, well, let's see if you had, like, a magic jammer this whole time. I'm curious. Nope, okay. Well, then, just for fun, I'm going to summon the green baboon. All right, get rid of you and you. There, I summoned my two strongest monsters. This guy who's technically stronger, but I summoned him where he's not stronger. And then my green baboon, who's just amazing. It's just an amazing monster. Like, once I get the green baboon in my hand, I can I will never not have it. Yeah, you'll never win. Unless they remove it from play, but that ain't happening. Not in a Slifer Red battle. Alright, so we've defeated Chumley yet again. But I just wanted to, you know, I just wanted to be friends with him. You can't be friends with someone unless you beat them up. That's, well, actually, no. Hmm. Well, a lot of my bullies became my friends, so I guess that's... I'm the wrong person to talk to. That's weird. Hmm. And it was never physical bullying. It was always verbal. Ain't nobody gonna touch me. Alright, let's see. Oh, wow, that also sounded sad. Hmm. I need to stop talking. Let's duel you too, kid. Yeah, we're doing a lot of duels today. This is Michael. Hi, Michael. Let's see what kind of deck Michael uses. Michael, can I beat you up and then we'll become friends? Because that's the life I've lived. Alright, let's see what he's got. He's got... Oh, man, I want to see your deck name. I like the deck names in this game. Thank you for letting me go first, Michael. Alright, first to go. Normal duel. Total destruction. Oh, wait, that might be one of them decks that have, like, a bunch of blow-up cards. And those are annoying. You know, like Fisher and stuff like that. Oh, I could set Cold Wave now. All right, if you use Cold Wave, what this card does is now your opponent can't set any spell or trap cards or use any. So I'm protected for one turn. Until your next turn, neither of you can use spell or trap cards or set any. It's so good. It's so good. So now I get to start where all he can do is attack me or set. Yeah, he can also play defensively, but screw that. All right, draw. Ooh, Desk Kangaroo. If this monster attack, if the attack of the monster that attacks this monster in defense position, yeah, it's a lot of reading. I'm not gonna do it. So Cold Wave already ran out. Let's go ahead and summon you. I'm willing to flip my knight. I feel like I don't care what his total destruction is. I feel like we can beat it. All right, attack. Might be Manier Bug then, huh? Total destruction. Steel Scorpion. What the hell is that? I mean, I know what it is, but what does it do? A non-machine type machine, uh, monster attacking Steel Square will be destroyed at the end of the end phase of your opponent's second turn after the attack. I might win the duel by then, my friend. <laughs> I know you think that's a good card, but I might win the duel by the time my monster gets attacked. Or I might tribute it. Who knows? A lot of things can happen in two turns. Oh, technically three. Jesus. Alright. Yeah, I wanted you to destroy Familiar Knight. Come on. Alright, and I have this guy who's kind of useless unless I have beasts on the field, so let me summon you. So I have some beasts on the field. Alright, so now that I know that they're just going to be a bunch of weak monsters, let's just attack with you. Never mind, it's Blast Sphere. Which is perfect, because that will make it so I get destroyed next turn. And since it's a familiar knight, it's even better. So never mind, it was totally worth it. We're just going to have to lose some life points in exchange for it. 1200 to be exact. Negate attack won't protect me from that. So let's uh let let me show you all what Blast Sphere does. It's a it's a Bandit Keith card. 
And I'm about to lose my monster. I just realized that. All right, he's setting another card. Next player's turn, draw, and then it happens. Yep. Monster effect, Blast Sphere activates. We lose the monster, we lose 1,200 things. Uh, wait, I thought I when this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard... Oh, result of battle. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's not a great effect, but I'll, I'll live with it. Result of battle it is. All right, Amazon is Paladin. She's just here because she has 1,800 attack. No other reason. Um, let's give it to the snake. Let's give it to the snake. The snake can do good. All right, go ahead and destroy it. Hey, there's the man ear bug of the hour. That's what I was looking for. All right, so he does just have total destruction cards, and he would have been destroyed this turn anyway because of the effect. I was just trying to win the duel, but I can't. Okay, so I'll win the duel next turn. So now I would have been destroyed by Steel Scorpion's effect had he not destroyed it by Man Eater Bug. So that was technically sad that he did that. But he had to do it to survive. Or not. No, he probably didn't have to do that. He's just a bad duelist. Alright, I guess I'll summon my Panda. In hopes that some somehow my my Koala here gets to, or Kangaroo here gets destroyed. Oh, perfect! Well, you act if you activate your monster's effect, I'm going to activate mine. Because once he's destroyed, boom, baby. Powerful monster. It's not even that strong, but I'm going to take it. So, let's go ahead. Do some damage. And then end the duel with maximum damage. That's the only reason I'm doing it, is for money, guys. The more damage you do to your opponent, the more money you're going to make. I think you also make a lot of money if you do the exact amount they have left. And get them to zero that way. Like, if they had 1,800 and I did 1,800, you get a bonus. But... That scenario hasn't, um, come up yet. Oh my god. So he's not even on, he's on his hands and knees. That guy, that guy's, a, that guy's, yeah, wow. That guy's a shame to his whole family, ain't he? Alright, so we defeated yet another Slifer Red. We still have Pharaoh with us, so you know what we should do? We should go talk to people. I'm glad we're making money, though, because as you can see, our deck needs some major improvements. It needs it. I have no way of getting it at the moment, but it needs it. So let's go ahead and talk to, I guess, Bastion. He's always a good one to talk to. Get get a little, get a little uh, nerdy nerdy wisdom into us. Not into us. Wow, that sounds awful. Let's listen to some nerdy wisdom. He loves the sea, don't he? Yeah, you do. You and Mako would be friends. There we go. We had a great talk. I'm gonna leave now. There we go again. We only have $800. I won two duels and only have $800. That's not a lot. And in the future, we're going to have even less. Like, two duels is like $200. So, that's that's sad. Sad to think about, but that's the future. Alright, hello there, Zane. You're looking a little upset today. Cooper. What? What? What cheap chair? What cheap trick? Name one cheap trick I've used. Name one. But you can't do it, can you? Yeah, you're a, li you're a liar, Zane. I almost want to duel you just to show you that I don't use cheap tricks. But Zane would just one turn, one turn. He would o what? What is it? What is it called? OTK. He would OTK me. I think that's what they call it. Oh no, one hit kill, one turn kill. Yeah, one turn kill. Because he would just do Cyber Twin Dragon, Power Bond, Limiter Removal. I lose. He doesn't even need the Limiter Removal, does he? He just needs the Power Bond, or one or the other. All right, there we go. Duels. Yeah, every girl in this game counts as an Opus Blue student, so don't think you can just duel them. They will kick your ass. Um, oh, hey there, Teach. Let's see. I'm Wade. I'm a professor here. This is the girls' dorm. Don't loiter around. Male students aren't allowed to it past this point. And then we have Fonda. Can I actually duel you? I like dueling you in the other game. Can I duel you in this one? I duel oh, cool. We can duel Fonda. Okay, we'll get another name character to duel. Fonda Fontaine. Yeah, Fontaine from Bioshock, that ain't fun. If she says, would you kindly, we're getting the hell out of here. I'm not listening to her. Nana, na 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 nani I can't hear ya. Ah, that's the first draw we've had. Haha, -ha, I played you. You thought I wouldn't use scissors again, but then you failed. Alright, normal duel. Feral Feast versus the cutie deck. So... If you are, uh, we already know you're into one of the students, so let's make sure this cutie deck is not inappropriate. Now, let's see. I have, ooh, I drew my big koala. That's my strongest monster in this deck, technically. That and the legendary beast card, but, I mean, the the, the, the big koala is like our dark magician. Alright, she draws. What did she get? 
It's a cutie. Oh, that is a cutie. Okay. I, I agree. That is a cutie. That's like a Taya card right there. Hell, it is a Taya card. It has friendship in the name. All right. We got a lot of defense, though, so we're in the clear. Let's see if you can defend your cutie, because I'm about to summon a... Oh, put your face down. Respect play. Okay. Oh, cool. You get to see my hand. Well, look at my hand. It's fine. Um, I'm going to summon a blindly loyal goblin. And then I get to see your hand next turn anyway, so it's worth it. You know what? Let's go super aggressive against her. No reason to. Let's just do it. If she could see my hand, then screw it. Uh-huh. Power my guy up. Yep, yep, yep. 2,000 attack point monster. What do you think about that, Fonda? Yeah, there we go. Do some damage to you. And 2k damage directly. Ah, I just kind of skipped to it, but we got her. What do you mean you shouldn't trouble? I, I'm your student. You're teaching me right now. This is this shouldn't be troubling you. This is like your office hours, right? Even though you don't have an office, you probably have an office. They just didn't put it in the game. I like your earrings. All right, let's see her hand. She's got puppy nimble Mamongo would be a problem. Um, she summoned the puppy of all things. So she just I didn't see the trap card shit. So she just doesn't know what she's doing because that that was like the worst card she could have summoned of all of them. Well, then that's fine with me. The puppy will die. Sadly. I don't like to hurt dogs. I don't like to hurt animals, but it must be done. Alright, goodbye. Activate monster effect. Just goes back to your deck, right? Nothing special. Yeah, there we go. Sadly, because my attack is dropped, I can't win in this turn. I'm gonna have to wait one extra turn. Whatever that trap card she said, I guess it wasn't that good any after all. All my monsters are too powerful. Yeah, look at that. You've been messing up, lady. You've really been messing up. And bet your butt I'm a ball of energy. Alright, let's see what you drew. Uh, another friendship card. The only thing that would save you is Nimble Momonga, and you don't want to summon it. That's very interesting of you. Very interesting indeed. Alright, well I guess I'll just win the duel then. Let's go ahead, Amazon is Paladin. Since I don't remember the trap card, I didn't want to summon Big Koala. Uh, go ahead, destroy it. We already know it's weaker than you. Goodbye, Petite Angel. And then, yeah, you can win us the duel. This goblin is the opposite of your cutie deck, so I'm sorry. But you must take it. Alright, Fonda's been defeated. She's got some pretty good cards, but she's got a bad attitude. The teacher loses. You're strong. Yeah, sorry about that, teach. She is probably like one of the weakest duels in the game, so if you need some free money, you can come fight her. Just like in the GX Duel Academy game, although in that game I feel like she's more of a threat. This game, she's just, she's nothing. She doesn't even play right, so it's fine. Maybe it's because she's going easy on her students, maybe it's because she's a PE teacher and she's not actually a duelist. <laughs> that would be funny if it's like the whole time she just had a 40 card deck, she randomly put together a card she liked. And then like, she she does knows the super basics of dueling, she doesn't understand it. So, that would be fun. Let's go over here. Let's go to class. It's almost it's almost time for class. It's about 7.30. I'm going to talk to the teacher, see if they'll let us in. Hey, teach. Is it time to learn? I'm here to learn. <clears throat> I, hope, I hope Crawler gives us some good cards today. He, he gave us seven tools of the bandit, Fisher, some other cards I can't remember. But, you know, he gave us some good cards. So I feel like we can get good ones again, right? Like, what are the odds? Oh, I love seeing Pharaoh with us. All right, Crowler. Mic test. Check one, check two. Yeah, what, what's up with the Chancellor? Chancellor Crowler? Hell no. What? It's uh, not a good thing to say about your boss, who is... Uh, who dares call me temporary? Chancellor Shepard, I thought you left. Yeah, he wants to replace you, Chancellor Shepard. What do you think about that? That's scary. If if one of your if one of your employees ever says that to you, that's not good. Shallow grave could be useful. Uh, could be useful. Yeah. Meh. All right, so we got two somewhat useful cards depending on the deck you make. I don't really need them, but maybe shallow grave. Shallow grave isn't bad. Shadow Grave could be useful. You just gotta be careful on what your opponent has. So, let's go around and start talking. I do want to do some more duels, because we, we have money, but we don't really have a lot of money. 
So who do I duel? Let's let's first let's talk hobbies. Yeah, yeah, we had a great talk. Are, are you new? Have we dueled you? No, we dueled you. You're total destruction. <clears throat> I don't want to move up to raw yellow yet. I don't feel like I'm ready. Especially with my new deck that doesn't even have, like, a theme going. I know it's a beast theme, but we don't even have enough beasts to call it a beast theme, so... It's kind of sad. I feel bad about it. I really want better cards for it, but I, I, don't, I don't have better cards for it. I mean, while I'm here, I guess I can duel Cyrus, but I, I try to get new duels in, you know? I guess we dueled Michael today, if you want to count that. Alright, 50 DP. What are we getting? We are getting... Oh, I pressed X too early. We got a curry sandwich. That's probably not what we wanted to do. Alright, are you new? You're the almighty queen. I forgot about you. Uh, Chumley, you're my buddy, right? Let's talk. Oh, dude, what's up? Yeah, okay, I'll listen to what... Why, do we... Why does a heart mean they're angry? Does someone want to explain that to me? Why does a heart mean they're actually angry? That makes no sense. I I don't get it. I really don't. Alright, Dorothy, let's talk. You can try to duel them, they won't duel you. Just to let you know, Sadie and Dorothy won't duel you. I think if you play New Game Plus, they will, but they won't duel you now. So let's go ahead and see the packs. Uh, what is the hell is this? Oh, future pack. Okay, so this pack contains recent cards. So these cards are cards that came out after G, like not after GX, but later in later seasons of GX that they slipped into this game. I'll buy one pack so you guys can see it. It's pretty interesting. Um, I do need to improve my beast deck, so I will buy more of these, just so that, uh, I can actually make a decent beast deck, and the feralness will make sense. And then, let's see, do I need, how many percentages are, 42, 43, 55, 52. I guess we could try to improve. I feel like I get more out of the effect monsters, though, so let's try this. Let's get two of these. Let's get one of these. And then we'll buy a blue eyes pack for the hell of it. Who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. Let's see what we get. Alright. In insect. Chain Slam again. Got you already. Water Automatics. Oppressed People. It's a rare, but only because it has 2,000 defense. That's it. Ceremonial Bell. Blindly Loyal Goblin. Hunter with 7 weapons. Tainted Wisdom. Pinch Hopper. Could be useful in the future. Alright. Element Soldier. Bull Soldier. Cockroach Knight. Hunter 7. Sangan again. I can't believe it. We got the same Ultra Rare. I cannot believe it. And it's one that's banned, so I can't even get excited about it. Karma Cut again. Ooh, I could put two in my deck now. Oh, Future Deck. Future Deck. D-Spirit. D-Cards. Flying Saucers. Alien Warriors. Alien Greys. And Neo Space. Yes, cards that won't exist in this game, but do exist in this game. Alright, Beast Fangs. Poison Fangs. Poison Fangs could be good. The Big March should be funny. Stray Lamp. Yes! Yes, that's a hell of a card to get. That's one hell of a pull right there. Big Tusk Mammoth. Interesting. Kangaroo Champ. Thousand Needles is good. Beast Soul Swap. Bobomic Vermin could be good. You need multiples, though. Uh, Thousand Needles. Dark Zebra. Beast Fangs. Des Wombat. That's a fun card. Uh, no. No. Don't need any more. I'm good. Uh, no, thank you. I need more... Uh... Oh, Leogun. I remember you. Hyenas. I need more Hyenas. That's good. Uh, Big March of the Animals. Oh, God. In a lot of those. Alright, well, at least I got some more beast cards so we can actually fill out our deck a little bit better. But, uh, I won't do it this episode. We'll, we'll I'll have it uh, prepared for next episode. But I did say I wanted to do one more duel this episode. I wonder, is there any people in this game that would be worth dueling that... It, I don't want to duel a main character, but let's duel a character that we know. Somebody with, like, a portrait. So let's go. Who is... It? Well, I also need to talk to people. Let's go talk to Bastion so we can, like, get his, like, friendship level up. I don't know. It's, it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. And hey, let's explore this area a little bit. Look at this. If you go over here, you got the little power plant. That powers the whole island. Pretty useful. Uh, you got yourself a Bastion Misawa. He likes to talk crap. Now it's my turn. Yeah, he's doing some shadow dueling, just like how people do shadow boxing, but, you know, a hundred times lamer. And shadow boxing can look pretty lame. All right, we got random student here. Uh, don't want to talk to you. You're Robless Blue. I mean, you're Raw Yellow. We got random guy, and we got a person that will definitely have a face. So, let's duel. Hey, my name Damon, the man I uh, the man who loves to draw. What? You want duel against me? All right, you're gonna see some draw mystery. 
Yes, this is where Damon likes to train under the waterfall. This super buff student is all about draw power, which is one of the best things about, or one of the best things to focus on in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, deck with very good draw power or search power is usually the strongest. But Damon, I don't know if you are. You're physically probably the strongest duelist in this academy, but I don't know how you do in a regular duel. So Soul Draw versus the Feral Feast. Un uncompleted. Mihan glow with passion. Mihan want to card draw. Yes, that is good English, Damon. And you buff as hell, boy. You super buff. All right, so let's do this. Do that. 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 And we're ready. We're going to try and get Big Koala out of here. We'll see if we get lucky. Me draw, change all. Me turn. Yes, because you you got to keep saying me. From hand. Pop. Damn. Damn, how is that not banned? Sangin's banned, but not Pot of Greed? That card's OP as hell. You know what? I counter Pot of Greed with Jar of Greed. A card that shouldn't be banned. That's right, Jar of Greed. Boom. Oh, we actually drew a good monster. Let's see what he drew. Pot of Greed from hand. I don't know what that is. Pay 500 life points, pick up top card from deck, and if the card is the name that you declared, add it to your hand. That's a ballsy card to use. From hand, final... What? Destroy all cards on the field. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Here, let me just... Just because I can, there's no reason to. I'm just doing it. So, he destroyed all my cards. Not bad. At least it's not the final destiny from Reshuffle Destruction, where it destroys everything, including your hand. So, he used his whole hand in one turn, and now he has nothing. And I have everything. That's, uh... That's Damon for you. He's a hell of a duelist. I have the two strongest monsters in my hand right now. They're both tributes, though. Ah, uh, yeah, you feel pain, don't you? Yeah, that's good. Well, let's see what you top deck, Damon, because you're going to need to top deck something pretty good. Okay, interesting. I wonder what it is. Probably Jar of Greed, isn't it? Isn't it? Show me Jar of Greed. It's like, show me potato salad. Well, first we'll do this. I don't want to see it. You can use it next turn, Damon. Next turn. Let's go ahead and attack you directly. You crazy animal man. Alright, now that the animal man has been attacked, let's go ahead and get some... Ah, no, I don't want to check the field. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get some Go Go Gaga Gigo in this. Or Gaga Gigo, sorry. The Go Go Gaga Gigo is a stronger monster, isn't it? Yep. And you draw, never miss. Your hand kind of glitched there. Maybe because your arms are too buff. Oh, two cards to set this time, huh? But nothing that's... You're not intimidating me here. Alright, I summon. Let's see if you can stop my attack. If you can, then maybe you have a chance in this duel. Okay, Damon, what are you doing, buddy? I thought you were better than this. Dude, you're technically an obelisk blue student. Okay. Um, that was sad. I don't think Damon did anything to us. If anything, he just blew himself up. Seven turn duel. Very easy victory. I surpassed you draw. Yes, because you threw all your cards away with Final Destiny. I don't know why you thought that was a good idea. Oh, poor guy. This guy. This guy's a sad duelist. We didn't even get any money off of him. That's how sad it was. I guess, uh, I'll see you later, Damon. I feel a little bit bad for you. I'm, 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 I'm just gonna go, man. You want, no, no, I gotta go. You, 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 you're, you're just suppressing me. Alright, let's get out of this forest. Maybe we'll go see Zane again like we always do. Just talk to him about his little brother. He'll say, hey, can you say hi to Cyrus? And I'll say, fuck no. Go learn, learn some social skills and talk to your own goddamn brother. I know he's an embarrassment, but talk to him. See what he says today. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, of course. You're always thinking about your brother. All right, Pharaoh. What do you want to talk about? Duels. Then you're going to be like, would you listen? Or you'll listen? Yeah. And we had a great talk. Glad to hear it. So, guys, you know what? That's going to be it for the day. I hope you're enjoying our little duel academy. We're dueling so many different people. And it is almost time for something very interesting. At the end of each week, technically the beginning, but at the end of each week, something happens, and we're already on Friday. So get ready for some special duels. Bye bye everybody.